everybody. Now, this is my gudgeon tank, as I'm calling it for the time being. I don't know if it's going to really turn out to be an Australian tank or not. Uh, but it does have my gudgeons in here, and it also has two banjo catfish in here. And you can see one of them is now actually surfaced. Uh, they do spend a lot of time under the gravel, or under the sand in this case. Uh, you can see another one is right there, uh, kind of hiding and half buried. But this one has come out, and he was moving around a few minutes ago. I'm kind of hoping we'll see him move again. And the moment he moves, these gudgeons go after it uh, like a kitten chasing a laser pointer. So these fish are definitely extremely predatory, and they are instinctually predatory. It's not as though they think it's food. They just see movement, and they dart after it. If I put uh, something in the water that was just floating in the current, when they see it go by, they dart after it and grab it. Uh, and then they'll just spit it back out if it's not a food item. But they're really, really aggressive feeders. So I'm, you know, I mentioned in a video earlier today that I'm going to have to be really careful about what I put in this tank with them. And if I do do rainbow fish in here, it's going to have to be some fairly large rainbow fish or, you know, a good medium sized rainbow fish. But they're going to have to go in at medium size. I cannot put small uh, rainbows in this tank and let them grow in. Because uh, any fish that's even. Uh, you know, twice the size of something like a neon or a guppy would be just a small snack for these fish. They have very big mouths. So apparently this banjo cat is not really going to do anything other than lie there in the micro swords. I know that looks like grass and I did call it grass uh, earlier in another video, but that is not actually grass. Those are micro swords. So I'm hoping they will grow in and give a grassy like effect, uh, which will allow those banjo cats a place to hide without actually burying themselves in the sand. And it seems to be working. They seem to be a little more comfortable uh, when they're out in the uh, grass like that or in the cover of the plants. So I'm going to call that a video. That was just a short one. Uh, I have got my backing in this tank now. I've still got the pothos plant just sort of floating in there. I kind of like the way it looks. And the gudgeons seem to appreciate the cover as well. So it's going to stay that way for the time being. So stay tuned. Subscribe if you're not already. I do a lot of little updates like this. And again, if I get any good video of this uh, banjo cat here anytime soon, you will certainly get to see that. So you don't want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you real soon on the next one.